Find the force on the window AB from the water. Also find the equation for the equivalent point load, where the depth under the page is 1.5 meters and the density of water is 1,000 kilograms. First thing we're going to do is look at what our free body diagram looks like, specifically to get from A to B, where A is 2 meters under the water and B is 3, three meters more, so 5 meters under the water. The pressure at A is going to be rho times G times 2. The pressure at B is going to be rho times G times 5. At the top of the surface of the water, we would have zero. So if we had the top, we would have the nice triangular loading. But we don't actually have that part up, up at the top. What we do have is the part from A to B. So we have a trapezoidal loading, where I'm looking at this just as a per depth into the page. What I'd like to do is break this into a triangle and a rectangle. I want to look at the triangle that sits to the left of my rectangle and the rectangle that sits to the right of my triangle. So all I'm looking at here is from A to B in both cases. So these are my triangles and my rectangles. Now the rectangle is going to be rho g2 by 3. My triangle is rho g5 minus rho g2 because it's all that's what's left here. I can, I'm going to call this f rect and f tri. I'm essentially going to find out what their magnitudes are and where they act on my beam from A to B in the window. The magnitude of the rectangle is base times height. Rho g2 times 3. Now that gives me per depth into the page. I have to actually multiply by the depth into the page to be able to get a force. This is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed times 9.81 meters per second squared. Always makes good sense to make sure your units are working. Times 2 meters times 3 meters times 1.5 meters. That's the depth into the page. This is 88,290 newtons. My triangle is actually one half base times height, rho g5 minus rho g2. That's the base. Here's the height, three meters. And again, I have to multiply by depth into the page to get my units to work out to get units of force. Otherwise, I have units of force per, per depth into the page, like this diagram up here. This is one half times a thousand kilograms per meter cubed times 9.81 meters per second squared times, I just pulled those two things out, so now I have 5 meters minus 2 meters, times 3 meters, times 1.5 meters. Again, my units work out just fine, and I get 66,217.5 newtons. The total resultant is the sum of these two, 88,290 plus 66,217.5, which is 154,507.5 newtons. Now, the rectangle acts in the middle of the load intensity diagram for the rectangle. So it acts right in the middle of AB at 1.5 meters down. The triangle acts at a third of the way from the big end. So the big end is at the bottom. So this is 1 meters, and I have 0.5 meters in the middle. These are my equivalent lo loads in my old system. What I'd like to do is I'd like to find out what the equivalent system is if I had only one force there, the total resultant force. What is H? That's the other part of the question. Where does it act? To find H, I need to find an equivalent system. Now, to have two things be equivalent, I have to have the sum of the forces equal, which I already do by virtue of the fact that I defined them as adding them up. I also need to have the sum of the moments. I'm going to take the sum of the moments about B. As long as the old system is equal to the new system, then I can say that these two systems are equivalent. Defining positive being counter, being, excuse me, clockwise, the sum of the moments about B in my old system is F rect at 1.5 meters away from B plus F tri at 1 meter away from B. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my new system. I'm going to say that this is going to be FR at H. And again, I need it to be positive clockwise. So I can set these two things equal to zero. I know what F rect is. This is 88,290 times 1.5. And I have 66,217.5 times 1. 
is 154507.5, that's FR, acting at H. Well, you can solve that H is 1.2857 meters. And then don't forget to answer the question. FR is 155 kilonewtons to the right at 1.29 meters above B.